Hi, my name is Brian McLaren. I'm a former pastor, I'm an activist, a blogger, an author. I'm also an outspoken ally for LGBTQ people. So many of the people who do wrong to gay people do so because they've never actually met gay people. Two of my children are gay. And uh, it's been one of the greatest blessings in my life. Because I was a pastor and because I came from a Christian background, I was bringing these two wonderful, now adult kids, but I was bringing them into a very hostile environment. Because the truth is, the Christian church in its Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox forms has been until very recently a universally hostile environment for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered, queer people. I want to acknowledge that one of the reasons it happens is because of fear. The same rejection that straight Christians have shown to gay Christians, those straight Christians will show to their fellow straight Christians if they become allies and in solidarity with their LGBTQ friends. And this is only something to be lamented and grieved and admitted and acknowledged with sadness and sorrow. Something strange happens to me every few months. I'll have a pastor, sometimes kind of famous pastors and authors and others, tell me in secret that they've changed their mind on this. And now they realize that the traditional judgment on gay people was wrong. And they're, they're afraid to take the step. They're afraid to come out. I suppose that fear, that fear that makes them put their own comfort and safety and money ahead of the well-being of their LGBTQ friends. I guess it's human and it's sad and it's cowardly, but it's part of us all. And it's all the worse when we stick a religious bumper sticker over it to try to make it okay. It's very important for us to acknowledge that somewhere nobody knows exactly, six to 10% of our own sons and daughters, we forced to stay in the closet. I mean, we've forced and urged them to get married to a person of the opposite sex, not realizing how much damage we're doing, not only to the gay person, but now to the other person who's very often harmed for life by that kind of a marriage. Christians are trying to pass laws to limit the human rights of LGBTQ persons. It's time for us to apologize, to admit how wrong and evil and cruel our behavior has been, to make no excuses except to, just to say we were wrong and we're sorry and we are committed now to leading the way to do better.